Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hello. I figured I would vlog today at work kind of like a day in the life of someone who works at a boutique. I don't really know. You guys always say you love when I vlog at work and it's hard for me to vlog at work because I'm busy, I'm doing things, if people are in there it's like not appropriate to do. Sundays I work alone. We're only open noon to four and so there's not as much traffic coming in. So I figured I could kind of take you through what I do on a Sunday at work. I work at Boutique 23 in Bismarck. Their address is 201 West Main Ave. They also have a store in Linton, North Dakota and they have a website which I'll have on the screen right here. It's just www.shopboutique23.com. Sundays are normally meant for social media. So that is where I go through and I take Instagram pictures and I plan them out. Kind of go through, organize store find all the onesies put them on the onesie rack do all that sort of stuff so i figured i could just take you through tell you guys kind of what i do if people are not in there and yeah so if you guys like videos like this let me know be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let's just go inside This is not that great of an angle, but I didn't bring my tripod, and so this is what it's gonna have to be. Oh, the lighting's really strange. I think because that window's open. But the very first thing that I do after I turn on all the lights is I'm going to clock in. So now I'm clocked in, and the next thing after you do when you clock in is you wanna make sure that you check the online orders, just because what is on our online website is also in store. We don't have like a warehouse or anything like that. And so we just have to make sure if anyone orders something that we pull it off the floor and figure out which location is it is in. Linton's actually closed on Sundays and so normally we just make like a Linton does information on it so I want to cover it but like an ask Linton list. And then when they are open on Mondays we call each other and figure everything out. But there is no orders that I need to do. So after that, I go on to social media and I go through messages and comments and stuff and see what people need and want and I reply. So since there's no online orders, like I said, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so messages are all gone through. I'm good to go on those. Now I gotta put the sign out front. I'm not gonna bring my camera over there, but I don't know if you guys can see. So we have our open sign right there. Yeah, I gotta put that outside. So I'm gonna do that now and open the door. So now that, can I say, this angle is literally like so bad. But now that the sign is outside, doors unlocked, people can come shop. Danita just texted me some sayings. We, once a week we post sayings on our Instagram. And so I'm gonna make these. I use the app Typorama. And then we use two different fonts for them. So. That's what I'm gonna do now, part of a little social media Sunday. That's, that should be like a thing, social media Sunday. Well, it is a thing, because that's what we do on Sundays. So I finished up doing all the sayings, so now I'm going to do the floor lays. We just have these ring lights that we plug in, and then just a white board that we take the pictures on. So I'm going to start doing floor lays. Normally, if I'm planning things out for the week, I like to get seven floor lays in, just so there's one per day if I have time. I will do more, but yeah, now I'm just gonna do some floor lays. really really busy there for a while so I didn't have time to vlog anything but I cleaned up everything that I was taking pictures with and I edited all the pictures so this is one that I had already edited so basically we just let me go into here we put a preset on it we do the where is it at exposure 
three and basically it just like makes it brighter and then we just play around with these i don't know why this lighting makes me look so orange not really sure but then after that we have this app called the ceiling literally sounds like it's like gonna fall down sometimes but we have this app called Planoly and we put them all in there and then we just plan them all out. So, but like I said, I'm gonna wait to do that because I don't have the model pictures to do. I mean, do both. So I'm gonna wait to do that until later in the week. But now I'm gonna go around and find all the onesies. Basically onesies are, we only have one left of them. And so, Normally on like our racks, we put all the sizes together and if we only have one size left, they go on a rack with only one left, the onesie rack. So I'm gonna do that now. Now that I have found all the onesies, put them on the onesie rack, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. It's really dirty back here, so I'm gonna like Swiffer and I'm gonna take out, dump all the garbages and I cleaned all the mirrors yesterday and someone vacuumed the rug, so I'm not gonna do that, but just kinda tidy the place up a little bit. I'm not gonna vlog that because that's very boring, but that's what I'm gonna do now. So this has nothing to do with working at a boutique, but there is a really big apartment fire in Mandan. So it's like Mandan, Bismarck, and there's a river in between. So it's like, basically they'd be the same town if there wasn't a river. Anyway, there's a huge fire, apartment fire over there. And ambulances, the like, where there's stations kind of by Main Street and we're on Main Street. And to get to Mandan, you just keep going straight on the street we're on. And so ambulances just keep coming back and forth. And it's like so scary because <laughs> I would understand if they were going but like they're going towards the hospital and it's really sad I hope everyone is okay so I'm trying on this top over my um romper so it looks kind of funky but I really really like it I didn't know if I wanted the small or the medium but I feel like the neck up here would be too big in the medium so I think I'm gonna get the small I can link this down below I think it's so cute Yep, I'm gonna get it. Okay, so it's 3.41 now. We close at 4. It's actually been pretty consistently busy today, which is really nice. Um, we have candy in the back, and so I'm just gonna eat some candy while I wait. I closed the register over there. I normally always close that early on because I normally just pick one computer, and I stay at that computer the whole day. There goes an ambulance with its lights off. That's good, I guess. I guess the whole like apartment is like gone, like the whole roof's gone. Everyone who had stuff in there lost it all. Not good. But now I'm just gonna wait until like 3.50ish to close this one down, bring the sign in and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna eat this candy for the next eight minutes. It is really, really warm outside right now. I don't even know, what is it, 95? 95 degrees. And I'm wearing like a thermal outfit, that's great. But I just clocked out, locked the doors, turned all the lights off, did everything like that. And now obviously I'm in my car ready to go home. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and it gave you, whoa, am I like all red? I don't know, does that ever happen to anyone else? I think it's like um, heat rash. I get like really red when I get really warm and it's really warm in here I'm trying to get the air going <laughs> so if you hear it that's what the noise is yeah I hope that gave you a little insight of what working at the boutique is like obviously since it's Sunday it's gonna be different than a weekday when we get inventory and stuff like that in when we're unboxing steaming putting it in the system putting sizes on it putting it on the floor everything like that but for Sunday this is what it looks like. Once again, I work at Boutique 23 in Bismarck. Um, they also have a location in Linton and they have a website. Their website is just shopboutique23.com. I'll have it on the screen and I'll also have all their social media and their website linked down below if you wanna check anything out. Be sure to subscribe to me and give this video a thumbs up if you like these work videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.